The polynomial q of x equals 2x cubed minus 6x squared plus 6x plus 2 can be written in the form a times x minus h cubed plus k, where a, h, and k are real numbers. And we're asked to find the values of those three constants. So the first thing we need to do is expand this. So to do that, we can rewrite this as a x minus h, x minus h, x minus h, plus k. And then if we expand two of those brackets first, we have a times x minus h multiplied by x squared minus 2hx plus h squared plus k. And then multiplying that bracket out, we have a outside of x to the power of 3 minus 2hx squared plus h squared x minus hx squared plus 2h squared x minus h cubed plus k. Next we can collect up like terms. So we have minus 2hx squared and minus hx squared are like terms. And we have plus h squared x and plus 2h squared x as like terms. So this can become a outside of x to the power of 3 minus 3hx squared plus 3h squared x minus h cubed plus k. And finally, multiplying every term by a inside the brackets, we have ax to the power of 3 minus 3ahx squared plus 3ah squared x minus ah cubed. And then we have plus k at the end. And we know that this is equal to the original polynomial. So the original polynomial is up here, and we can use the process of equating coefficients to work out what the values of a, h, and k are. So the first coefficient we're going to equate is the a at the front of the x cubed with the two that's at the front of the x cubed. So if we have a look here, we see that this a pairs up with that coefficient. So we can say that a is equal to 2. And now the next one we're going to pair up is the coefficient of x squared, which is negative 6. So this negative 6 here pairs up with the negative 3ah down here. So we can have negative 3ah is equal to negative 6. But of course, we know that negative 3 and the a is just 2 times h equals negative 6. Therefore, negative 6h equals negative 6, which gives h is equal to 1. So we've found a is equal to 2 and h is equal to 1. And now lastly, we need to find the value of k, which we can equate by letting the constant term without x here, which is negative ah cubed plus k, equal the positive 2, which is the corresponding coefficient up here. So we have negative ah cubed plus k is equal to positive 2. But again, we know that a is equal to 2, so we can substitute that in there. And we know that h is equal to 1, so we can put that in there. And that's raised to the power of 3 plus k equals 2. And now negative 2 times 1 to the power of 3 is just negative 2 plus k equals 2. Adding 2 to both sides and we get that k is equal to 4. So they are the values of a, h, and k.
such that those two polynomials are equal.